Grabs a greasy grand eagle for a cat's little birdie dirty feet. Tasty stuff I'd like to eat. Great spoon. Gobs a greasy grand eagle for a cat's and I forgot my spoon. I forgot my spoon. I forgot my I'm making a chainmail vest, kind of like my old chainmail vest over here, which has been totally awesome, but it's starting to rust a little bit now that I live in a salt water environment. So I'm going fully stainless steel here. Now these are good for unexpected knife fights, or if you need ballast while diving, but really, your puny earth gravity is just not sufficient to get a good workout, so I wear, wear it when I go running and stuff like that. So I've been trying to figure out if I want the grain to go this way, like this the top, this the bottom, or if I want the grain to go this way. Now the chainmail stretches and compresses a lot in one direction, but not much in the other direction. So a lot of people make them this way so they can get it on and off easily, so they can stretch it way out and then they put it on and the weight pulls it down and it shrinks around their body. The problem with this, is then it's hanging so loose that as you move around it's so sloppy and floppy and if you kind of solve that by uh, you know making it connect in the front then it's uh, not tight but a little bit snug around the body then that fixes that but then at the part where it doesn't go all the way around your body like where your arms are and stuff then you've got all this gravity pulling and it shrinks it in so it just doesn't it doesn't make a stable shape that way so I think I'm going to go this way, because this way you can get straight edges, the shape stays the way, it just doesn't move very much. And that's the way I did my old chainmail vest, and this one has been very good. Although this one I made the ring so tight it actually doesn't stretch much either direction. Like the rings are so tight you couldn't even get a toothpick through it. And I don't mean you could force a toothpick through it. I mean there's not even close to enough space to get a toothpick through it. But these rings are looser, so I get the stretchy effect. So I'm just going to have it stretched down so gravity will hold it down, and then this, the shape will be very stable. Because, you know, I want to I run around and jump and move a lot, and I don't want this thing flopping all over the place while I'm doing that. Okay, see, so like this way where it stretches and shrinks sideways, if you have the top stretched out, then the bottom's all shrink-linked, and if you pull it in, then the, the top falls in, and it's real floppy, and, you know. But then if you go the other way, now even though it's hanging a lot longer this way, it's much stiffer. And, uh, yeah, much better that way. So that's the way I'm going. Alright, let me get back to my man-knitting here.